Today we are going to be replacing the motor on an Ecofan Model 806. Now inside the motor kit you will receive an instruction manual, an Allen key, and a brand new motor for your Ecofan. The other pieces of equipment that we will need for this procedure are a soldering iron, some solder, some safety glasses, and a Phillips screwdriver. And the head of a Phillips screwdriver looks like this. Now the first step will be to remove the blade from the Ecofan and we'll use our Allen key to do that by sticking the Allen key inside this little hole on the blade. Turn the Allen key counterclockwise and slide the blade off of the shaft. Next we need to remove the screws that are holding the motor mount. We'll use our Phillips screwdriver to remove these screws now we simply pull the motor out from its housing and we can see that the motor has the wires soldered directly to the back of the motor on some terminals one of the wires is shown to be connected to a terminal marked with a red dot and the other black wire is marked to a terminal which has no markings on it. Now to identify which wire goes to the terminal with the red dot, we'll use a piece of tape so that we know that this is the wire that leads to the positive side on the terminal for the new motor. Now the new motor, we can see has no markings but if you look very closely you'll see a tiny little indent next to one of the terminals. That is your positive terminal which corresponds to the red dot here. So we're going to unsolder these wires and move them up to these terminals. Now to remove these wires we're going to take our soldering gun and apply just a little bit of heat to these terminals. Now we don't want to apply heat for very long, just enough to melt the solder to loosen the wire. No more than five seconds. Next we take our new motor and we need to apply some solder to these terminals. Again, no more than five seconds. Now we're ready to solder the wires onto the new motor. We're going to start with soldering the negative wire to the terminal. And once we've completed that one, now we're going to solder the one marked with the green tape to the positive side of the motor which has the little indent on the plastic. Now we want to make sure that the wires are secure and then we simply remove the tape and reinsert the motor back into the Ecofan. The next step is to reinstall the motor bracket onto the Ecofan. We reinstall the screws holding the motor brackets on each side. And we have to make sure that we don't over tighten the screws. We want them to be just snug. And finally, we're going to replace the blade by putting it onto the shaft and ensuring that the shaft is flush with the front of the blade. And turn our screw clockwise to tighten. And that completes the motor replacement on an Ecofan Model 806.